Welcome back to another week here on Master of Hair. As you guys can see, I obviously have a situation going on at the top of my head and I need to do something about it desperately. One thing I always encourage my clients is to use deep conditioning masks and make it more relevant into your lifestyle. So today I'm going to show you guys how to use a deep conditioning treatment and wear it into your daily style. So right now my hair is on day five and it's a little too dirty to wear it down, but I don't necessarily want to give it a wash just yet. Especially when you're about to get off work and you're going to go take a shower anyways after you're done working out. It's a great way to save time in your day and hydrate your hair. My hair is a hot mess. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take it down. She is all over the place and I'm just going to give her a good brush. I'm a huge fan of the wet brush. It's really awesome because the bristles bend and as you're brushing your hair, the bristles are bending versus pulling your hair out. So I'm going to pull my hair forward. I always tell my clients to part it from the middle of the head and pull it forward. And just start from the bottom and kind of work your way up. You always want to make sure that you're careful and gentle when brushing your hair versus like raking it through your hair. Your ends are just a little bit more fragile and you only have one head of hair, so be nice to it. Okay, so my hair is nice and brushed now. Now I just have this lovely water bottle and I'm just going to damp my hair just a little bit. And it's not a ton, but I do want my hair to um, have a little bit of a wet look. And you can always apply more later too, so it's fine if you don't apply a ton right now. Now I feel like my hair is a good amount damp where I can apply the product and it'll distribute easily. So one of my favorite deep conditioning treatments that I'm using right now is by the product line called System Professional. I'm using their Hydrate Mask and I'm so obsessed with it. I am just one of those people who do not shampoo often. I shampoo once a week. So when I do shampoo, I'm only using a deep conditioning treatment to make sure I give my hair the most hydration I can. Taking like this amount, it's probably like a nickel to quarter size. You always, always, always want to make sure that you distribute the product into your hands first. When you distribute the product into your hands first, you're getting a cleaner application. So what I'm gonna do, I have both my hands here. I'm going to start just applying this one down at the bottom, kind of like twisting it around. You never want to apply a deep conditioning product to your scalp because the top of your head is the most hydrated part of your hair and your ends are really where it needs the moisture. So you can't even really tell that I put a ton in there. And so I still have a little bit left in my hand. And I'm just going to go through do the same thing on this side. When your hair is wet too, the product will trickle up a little bit, just naturally the way it works. So it will get distributed up. So I always say if you can make a pony with your hands, this is where you should start applying the product. Never anything above it. And then you'll have just like a little tiny bit left. I always just kind of graze through the top just so I get everything hydrated, but just a little bit. Not enough where there's actual product visible. So now the product is evenly distributed. I have nothing left on my hands. I'm not even gonna wipe my hands off because it feels so good and clean. So I'm just gonna go through and now kind of brush it out and make sure everything's just distributed a little bit better. I always feel like there's never enough time in the world. So this is a great way to include deep conditioning treatments into your lifestyle without making it a hassle. Especially if you are dry, especially if you are coloring, deep conditioning treatments are just something that need to happen. Now my product is brushed in, what I'm going to do is I have my lovely hair tie. I always love to have my baby hairs behind my ear. They are just so curly and like kinky, wiry that they stick out. So I love to place them behind my ears. Then I'll just kind of start creating my shape, polishing my little baby hairs. I will get to those guys in a minute. So at the nape of the neck, right in the back where the hairline ends, that's where I want my pony to lay. So I'm going to go through, brush, brush, brush. I've got this little guy. This is a great one too. It just helps lay everything a little smoother. When I feel good about it, Go in and create a 
So I created my base, I kind of have my structure set. Now I'm gonna go in and make it a bun, but first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to set it. So that way too many things aren't moving. Gonna go back in in just a minute and finish polishing, but everything is working together and it's more about creating the shape together. I always like to spray a little hairspray on the baby hairs on the side here. So that way throughout the day they're not like popping up or giving you any surprises. Because my baby hairs are long enough where they go behind my ear, but sometimes they pop out. I kind of want to train them. Train them to stay back. So what I'll do is I'll just take a bobby pin and I'll just place it directly behind my ear going upward. So that way it'll set and depending on how I'm feeling, sometimes I take it out, sometimes I leave it in. So I'll do the same thing here. Also, fun fact, as you guys can see, I have a burn right there. That was from using my curling iron at 230 degrees heat and it touched my skin for a split second and that's what it did. So imagine if that's what it did to my skin, imagine what it's doing to your hair. Oh, you see those baby hairs? You see them trying to pop out? Be the death of me. Okay, now I feel really good about that. So now I'm going to take my other hair scrunchie and create this into a bun. So I'm going to take this guy and I'm just going to start twisting. And using that to wrap it around, taking this other hair tie and locking it in. So that feels pretty good to me. I never distrust that solely. I know throughout the day, because I have layers, some of those pieces will push out. So I'm gonna lock it up with some more bobby pins and a ton more hairspray. I'm gonna take my bobby pin and hook it in there. Oh yeah, and like I can feel that. Okay. For these little types of pieces like that, it's just because of the length of the hair. There's nothing I can really do as far as bobby pins, but that's when I'm gonna utilize my products. So just like around the perimeter where I know I connected the pony together, I'm just gonna add some more bobby pins to keep it into place. So once you're kind of done putting the bobby pins at the bottom of the bun and feeling like your shape is secure, then I'm gonna to go to the top and kind of polish off the top. I have my gold little toothbrush. I love to put some hairspray on her. And then I kind of just go through and clean up my hairline. I have so many baby hairs. It's unbelievable. So this is a great way to help with that. Once I'm done there, I'm gonna brush my teeth. Just kidding. I'm gonna gently take them out now, holding my fingers on where the bobby pin is so nothing slides. I'm just gonna gently push it down. And spray some more hairspray for good luck. So as you guys can see, I have killed two birds with one stone. I was able to style my hair in a low bun, and on top of that, I have a deep conditioning treatment sitting in my hair right now. So you guys can see my bun. What do we think? I'm getting hydrated and a really cute style going on. Not all deep conditioning treatments are meant to be left in for more than, you know, five or ten minutes. This is a product line that I work with and I never feel like if I put this in my hair for too long that it makes me feel anything other than impressed and so in love with how my hair feels at the end. Whenever I'm rinsing out this deep conditioning treatment, I always make sure to rinse with like lukewarm water and I love to give my scalp a shot of cold to close the cuticle and add shine. It's so easy to say, I don't have time, or oh, I need to do it. You can make it convenient for you, and that way you're working smarter, not harder. Now that you guys know how to use a deep conditioning treatment, I hope I've encouraged some of you out there to use it and incorporate it in your routine. You have to style your hair anyways, so if you're gonna style into low bun, why not put a deep conditioning treatment in it? Thank you guys so much for making it to another week here on Mash Your Hair. If you guys like this video, there's something you want to see in the future and I will see you guys next week.